days at the stick. From who's got it better than us to brick by brick. It's always the 49ers way from off season to game day. Yeah, we talk back. It's the 49ers cut back. It's 49ers Cutback Podcast time. It's time to talk about the biggest X factors on the offensive side of the football. Not Dante Hall. We're not we're not going like actual Dante mm-hmm. Hall type X factors, but we are going X factors, guys who could change the offense in and of itself in its entirety in the 2022 season. And uh and you know, we we definitely had one of those last year. The question is just going to be is Debo Samuel also going to be that this year for the 49ers? And cut back crew before we get there hit the like button right now subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell that way you don't miss more videos like this talking about more different topics talking about defensive x factors which will be on another episode and ant they can also in the comment section let us know what they think about debo but who is yours who is your x factor for the offense coming into this 2022 season who is it going to be that changes the tide of the offense and just makes defenses sweat well, everyone's been talking about him all offseason. It's Debo Samuel for me. I think the things that Debo is going to be able to do uh, for the offense are going to be important. And one of those things is he's not going to have to have the football in his hands to be able to influence what defenses do. And I think Kyle Shanahan knows that he can move Debo Samuel all around and get him into the right position. So I think that when Debo's on the field, it's going to be all eyes on him. Everyone's going to be focused about where he's going to be. And I think Kyle Shanahan knows that he's going to be able to put him in motion, move him around, uh, go with formation changes, put him in the backfield, even if he doesn't get the ball. I think those are going to be opportunities for Kyle Shanahan to manipulate the defense, to confuse uh, the defensive player's eyes and create mismatches for other players. Uh, You throw in the fact that you're going to have some new weapons around Debo Samuel, and I think he's going to be able to flourish. I don't know if his numbers will exceed the numbers that we saw in 2021. He had an absolute fantastic year. But I do believe uh, that he could, you know, have another great season. But I think the 49ers could actually have a better season on offense because of Debo Samuel's ability uh, to influence the game without the ball in his hands. Look, I think this is something that is definitely definitely the the easy not the easiest one to predict, but there's the most reasonable. It's the most likely scenario. He is the the most likely X factor, not only because he's the most recent one to have done it, and but because of how he does it, um, he can do it as a running back. He can do it as a wide receiver. He can do it stretching the field deep. He can do it over the middle. He can do it on screens. He can do it on reverses. He can do it on fly sweeps. You can hand him the football and have him throw the ball. He can do it in so many ways. And How he can it, pass. And, and he can pass. <laughs> How could it not be Debo Samuel? I mean, he's the most likely person here. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're wrong because you're most likely right. And anyone who's feeling like it's Debo Samuel, you're not wrong. You're right. It is Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel is the X Factor. The question will just be, though, Ant, is how is that X Factor coming into play? Because what it may end up being this year in this 2022 campaign is Debo actually getting so much attention that it frees up other guys to have potentials to break out and do big things. And here is where I'm going to go with this. Because it's very easy for me to pick another wide receiver. It's very easy for me to go with Elijah Mitchell. It'll be extremely easy to go with George Kittle. In fact, I think George Kittle is going to have an all-pro season. Okay? You did say that in the breakdown I, video. I did. Yeah. In, in the breakdown video the other day, I literally said that. So if you yeah. missed that, by the way, you can go check that live stream and then just don't miss live streams anymore. You don't, hear, you don't miss those bold predictions. But... For me, the biggest X factor in the offense is going to be Trey Lance. There it is. And listen, listen, <laughs> a lot of you may be going, Alex, you don't get to backpedal. You've been hard on Trey since we drafted Trey. You don't get to backpedal now. <laughs> you don't get to get on the Trey train, Alex. You better stay in your lane. Stay off the train. You said two, you said two to three years. We're he only did. in year two. You got he's got one more. Listen. X factor for me can mean a lot of different things. It can. Jimmy Garoppolo was an X factor for the offense in, in 2019 and even this past season in 2021. A lot of people don't want to hear that, but being able to check into runs, stay in runs, check out of runs, check into the right pass plays, get the ball out on time is huge in Kyle Shanahan's offense. Huge. Field general is an X factor, a guy who knows what plays to be in, how to get yourself in and out of the right plays, where to go with the football, being able to general, be the general, orchestrate the offense, do what is needed. That is a skill set that not every quarterback has. Some quarterbacks are incapable of doing that. 
a la Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson does not want to check into run plays. Russell Wilson will force throws and force passes, even if it's not the best situation. See the Super Bowl. See the Super Bowl against the Patriots. They had no business throwing the ball in that situation. They should have handed the ball three times, and on fourth down, if you want to play action boot and use Russ's legs to your advantage, then do what you got to do. That is a situation where he was incapable of checking out of whatever was called and putting the ball in his best player's hand, do the thing that's gotten you there that has been the identity of your football team. He wasn't able to do it. Trey Lance is a smart football player. He's not a selfish, self, a selfish football player. He's selfless. I mean, we saw that last year in terms of how he handled his role and what he did with this team. I think his development, his continual growth is going to be the biggest X factor for the offense because Ant, teams are going to take away Debo. They're going to try to. Try, yeah. They're at times going to try and take away George Kittle. And D Trey Lance is going to have to be able to decipher and determine what teams are doing, what they're focusing on in this moment in time. What is this defense designed to do? Who are they focusing on? And then make the best decision possible. And if he can do that more times than not, the Niners offense is going to flourish with this young man because when teams take the wrong risk, he can make them pay over the top. He can. I mean, that's the thing about Trey Lance. He's one of those players that's going to make an instant impact uh, one way or the other on this football team. He's definitely pulling the strings on everything that happens with this offense. And Kyle Shanahan's, you know, using him as an extension of himself. Uh, he has to be able to think as if Kyle Shanahan was thinking. They have to see the game at the same way. And that was one of the things that Trey Lance talked about last year was being able to get in the same mind frame of, of Kyle Shanahan and see how he saw the game. And Kyle Shanahan had to be able to see how Trey Lance saw the game. And I'm hoping that they got it on the same page because if they did, then you're right. He could be the biggest X factor on this team because uh, this offense will not move if Trey Lance isn't able to operate at a high level. We've seen this offense struggle with a C.J. Beathard, you know, with a Mullins playing quarterback. It just doesn't look the same. It doesn't work. But yet, when you put a competent quarterback like Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, it can go well. And if you put an exciting athlete with the abilities of Trey Lance, could it absolutely go over the top? That's what we're hoping, but it is an X factor because we don't know what we're going to get out of Trey Lance. And everyone talks about the two games uh, that he played last year and say, hey, this shows, you know, that he's going to be ready to go. It's going to be, you know, rockets to the air and to the moon. I look at it and say, all it really shows us is that he showed improvement. I'm hoping for that same improvement. Uh, but if we don't get it, it could be an X factor in the wrong way. And if we do get it, it could be an X factor in the way of the 49ers getting to an NFC Championship uh, game again and potentially winning and this time going to the Super Bowl. He could be the biggest X factor for their success. He can also be the biggest X factor for their downfall and the detriment of the offense and the stall line. Um, it could be either way. Look, two games is too small of a sample size. His college career is too small of a sample size to know with certainty. We've been consistently saying this. Are there positives to gleam from the college career? Absolutely. Is there, is there positives to gleam from the two games? Absolutely. There's positives to gleam from the preseason all the way to the end of the season. There are lots of positives. There are also some negatives. There are also some concerns and questions. And Trey's job now is to iron those things out and give us all the warm fuzzies inside. That's what we want. We want the warm fuzzies when Trey Lance steps on the field because people are tired of being uncertain when Jimmy Garoppolo throws a pass over the middle. That's what people are sick it's of. True. They want to feel comfortable knowing the ball is coming out of the quarterback's hands, and Trey Lance is going to have to, for a good chunk of, of the fan base, going to have to show that he can do that consistently. Yeah, he is. You know, and I think I think he's going to have the entire fan base behind him, though. They're going to want this guy to be able to succeed. Well, well yeah, yes, because the Jimmy Sands will just leave. Well, potentially. Yeah, I they'll mean, just leave. I, I think in the long run, people want the 49ers to win. If you're a 49er fan, you want them to win. And, you know, I, I think that actually the two X factors we have can actually work uh, in concert together to be able to produce you know, for this football team. Because I do think Debo Samuel is going to take some of the pressure off Trey Lance with the things that he's able to do to manipulate the defense. It's going to make reads a lot more easier and more defined. When you motion Debo Samuel across and everyone's looking at him and you see the defense move to be able to take him away, that's going to open up to uh, Trey Lance what he's looking at coverage-wise. That's going to help him understand where blitzes are coming from, who is matched up on who, and he's going to be able to go ahead and execute. So I think Debo's impact on the game is going to be felt in that way. And also... Just getting the ball into Debo Samuel's hands is one of the easiest things Trey Lance can do to be successful. Find number 19, get him the football so that way he can go out and make plays because that's what he does. I don't care if it's a handoff, if it's a screen, if it's down the field, whatever it is, find Debo Samuel who'll make something happen. And along the way, kid, I'm going to make it a little bit easier on you because when I move, everyone else moves. Very true, and So listen, we just gave you the pitches, right? We just told you why it's, why it's Debo Samuel. Told you why it could be Trey Lance. 
and uh, it, all along the way we talked about all the different weapons, which means deep down inside we feel like it's Kyle Shanahan. <laughs> Let us know, cut that crew, what you think in the comments section down below. Who's the biggest X Factor going to be for the offense in 2022? And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, exactly. You know, like and subscribe, become a channel member, go join Patreon, check out the exclusive content. There's a lot uh, coming your way. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to have a lot more great videos coming over the offseason, so make sure you check them out. X Factors, Ant, they're important, they're huge, and if you're in Madden, they can change the game. <laughs> Uh, not not so much necessarily like in, in real life. They don't actually like light up and get highlighted and then go like super player saying yeah. status and stuff. But Debo is the X factor I mean, on Madden. He is. He is. I mean, well, he wasn't last year. He will be in this. He 20th. It's already guaranteed. It came out. Okay. Thank God. Madden. There you uh, go. At least they got they that, got something. Right. They got that right. <laughs> we'll see how the rest of Madden 23 looks. But TCC, we're excited to find out who that X factor will actually be. We'll see if your prediction is right. We'll see if one of our predictions is right. And until the next one, stay safe. And remember the right way is, is always the 49ers, 49ers way. way.